DB2 buffer pool simulation is a very interesting feature. However, it may require some time to evaluate the benefit of this option. Let's see how Click4DB simplifies this process. First, let's find the scripts that will assist you to manage the DB2 buffer pool simulation option. A search on keywords will show the appropriate scenarios. Based on the activity from the subsystem start, Click4DB is able to calculate a series of statistics that will help you to determine the potential candidates for buffer pool simulation. A first list displays all buffer pool used by decreasing size. It also presents the number of tables and indexes defined by buffer pool. We see here that buffer pool 3 has been dedicated to tables and buffer pool 2 to indexes. A second list shows buffer pool by decreasing values of pages read. Notice that buffer pool 2 dedicated to indexes has a high number of synchronous I.O. A third list tells us the system it ratio is only 82% and could be higher. This report also shows other kinds of statistics that could be used for selecting a candidate the system residency times and the read rates. Based on this, we decide to select Buffer Pool 2 as a candidate for Buffer Pool simulation. As Buffer Pool 2 is defined with 304 MHz, we will assign the double as simulated pool. So the simulated size will be set to 608 MB. Based on the storage size we introduced and the Buffer Pool page size, Click4DB calculates the number of pages to define the simulated pool, generates the alter command and executes it. The report shows the situation before and after the alter. It also indicates the amount of storage required for the simulation. Now let's wait about one hour of activity before evaluating the simulation. Click4DB analyzes a detailed display buffer pool stats and compares figures between the actual and the simulated values. The first chart indicates the size has been multiplied by 3. Have a look at the number of IOs. Sync and Async have been divided more than by 2. Great! Then we see that our system it ratio raised from 79 to 91%. A very good news! And logically, residency times have more than doubled, while the I.O. rates have also been divided by two. With such positive results, we now decide to allocate this additional storage. We just have to specify the buffer pool name. Click4DB will do the rest. Click4DB will display the size before the change and generates an alter command. The simulated size is added to the pool size. We will now have a pool of 912 mega in place of 304. Finally, the simulated size is also reset. Analyze, define, evaluate and switch. Click4DB lets you benefit from buffer pool simulation in only 4 clicks.